Welcome to the northeast of England for the second time this weekend where Manchester City are concerned. After the men would have laid against Newcastle in the Premier League on Saturday. Today is the turn of the women who are taking on Durham in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Now a chance in the set piece to really cause Durham some problems and make a really bright start. Gareth Taylor's side, it's a short corner. Kelly to Coombs. Now Hasegawa back out wide. Coombs again will take it on. And Kelly sends in the low ball as it snuck in near post, not quite. And uh, Lyra Alexandri trying to get in front of her opponent. Has it to the ground. Plays it back for Alexandri now to have some lovely footwork to step across the halfway line. Has she? Been able to set Manchester City on a meaningful attack here. Hemp on the left-hand side, swings in the cross deep towards Bunny Shaw. The control taken over by Rod. Oh, lovely skill on the ball, and Rod hits the crossbar. Goodness me, what an effort. What beautiful footwork initially from Alexandri to bring the ball forward. Plays the ball across the line of the sun, and it's Kasparai on from the right. The pass isn't great, but she'll get the second ball. Hasegawa tries to slide it through for sure on the edge of the penalty area. It's played out to the right-hand side, held up on the byline, clipped into the box, and the volley is down! What a goal! That is a brilliant finish from Laura Coombs on the volley. But there was too much on it from Laura Coombs. And Manchester City start 2024 with a fine goal. We'll probably expect that to continue throughout the afternoon. Long ball forward by Greenwood again. It's flicked on. It's over to the right of the penalty area. Here is Kelly with the shot, parried by the goalkeeper. Oh, Coombs has hit the goalkeeper again, and Hemp can't convert. Keating has the ball to feet. Heavy touch out towards the left-hand side. Right-footed, goes long, over the top. The chase will be made by Chloe Kelly, who flicks it on, and the flag will stay down. Body shows into the penalty area here, and... Can't convert. I'm not sure if she went for the shot or the low ball cross into Lauren Hemp there. He's Alexandri. Needs an option. Kasparai plays it in field. Hasegawa has been pushed off the ball and Durham are coming forward here with Crossway, who will see the distant shot. Straight at Kiara Keating. Big opportunity again for Durham, but all Manchester City's doing. Hasegawa. Into the centre circle, central, central position. Greenwood with a floated ball. Up towards the right-hand side, which Kelly brings down well. Now played into the penalty area. Oh, it's off the crossbar and in. And Manchester City have the second. It's a spectacular goal from Jill Rod off the inside of the left-hand upright. And Manchester City now do have a cushion. And lead Durham by two goals to nil in the fourth round of the FA Cup. A bit of indecisiveness from City was up to do there, but they found a way through to Shaw, who steps across the halfway line, then moves it out to the right. When the run of Lauren Hemp is there on well, the corner Molly. of the penalty area. The uh, block comes in, though, before it even reaches the box from uh, Lambert. But here's Shaw. Edge of the six yard box and sends it over. FA Cup, WSL and the Conti Cup all to resume in the next week and a half or so. Here is uh, a chance for Shaw on the turn over the bar again. And Manchester City leading 2-0. Alexandre. Nice turn from Raw to face the penalty area, weaves inside. Stretch from Lauren Hemp, centrally, chip back over the top. Can Raw get in there, chips the goalkeeper. Hey. Brilliant goal from Manchester City. And that will seal their place in the fifth round of the FA Cup. <laughs> to send it over, Nisha McAloon. And it's a very nice goal from Manchester City. And it means they lead Durham by three goals to nil.
Down the middle, Manchester City on the attack, out towards the left-hand side. Fowler's first real meaningful touch in the game. She takes the shot and takes a deflection. Where's it going in? Although the offside flag has denied that. Strides up to the midway point of her own half and then out towards the far side now for Fowler who gets it out to the right. Here's Chloe Kelly having a look at the defence, a little shot to the right, low shot, stretching the goalkeeper, but it's in, no it's not. <laughs> Alexandri, just a poor pass that was not going to reach Hamp. Durham coming forward with Pritchard here, they're into the left of the penalty area, will be limited in that shooting opportunity from there, but Pritchard's done brilliantly and will lay it off, shot comes in. Looking for their big moment, it's gone for a corner. Keating couldn't catch it. Lambert with the effort. Can have live match commentary on the website and app. And the Manchester Derby in the Conti Cup. Karen Barsley joins our team that night. City off again, down the right-hand side, Chloe Kelly into the box, looking at the ball right across goal, goalkeeper gets a decisive touch, but it might not be enough as Manchester City make it four, and Mary Fowler with one of the easiest finishes she'll ever have, and she strolls around, that was a stroll to finish, places it nicely into the bottom left-hand corner, well-taken goal, it's Durham nil, Manchester City four, Two goals in each half. Nowhere to be seen on that right-hand side in the second half. Not sure that banner works in the background there. Directed at Esme Morgan, it says, you are amazing. I can see what they've tried to do. And there goes the full-time whistle. Well, Manchester City have been amazing this afternoon. They have beaten Durham by four goals to nil in the FA Cup fourth round. They'll find out their opponents for the fifth round tomorrow evening. A professional job from the WSL side.